I just showed Kara the guy on TikTok with the Rubik's Cube. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> we just don't know what to do right now. I've been angry at TikTok. This man commented on TikTok. I haven't told you about this yet. Who I your TikTok? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He said I was just I made a TikTok about how Men if come at you for some. I just it's it's, they're idiots. it's like they think every TikTok I make is about them. Mm-hmm. And I said, hey, if you're repeatedly trying to get a woman's attention and she ignores you, there's a reason. Mm-hmm. Stop. Here's the point of that TikTok. Um. There, there was a man who was repeatedly trying to get my attention, and I was ignoring him. You said, okay? no, thank you. It honestly... I found Rubik's Cube guy, and that's all <laughs> I need in my life anymore. The point of the TikTok about Take a Hint is um, it has nothing to do with the guy who was trying to get my attention. It's not personal. It's more the fact that, like, I'm super against men right now. I don't mm-hmm. want to talk to men, period. And men don't seem to get that. Yeah. They it think turns them into crazy people well, and it makes it a game. They think, oh, you're going through a divorce. You must be lonely. And I'm you like, no, I'm good. You want me all up in your business. It's really, they don't understand that I can just not want to talk. You could be, yeah. I don't want to have any private conversations with men. Please leave me alone right out. now. Yeah. And I don't mean it to be mean. No, but it's not fun. No. No. And in, and in some cases it can get a little scary. Yeah. When you won't back off. Yeah. Just and then it makes me angry. Yeah. And in some cases, they do stuff that is creepy. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So I made a TikTok about it. (laughs) (laughs) I made a TikTok about it where I was like, please take a hint. Yeah. And this guy leaves a comment that says, if you're over the age of 35 and have kids, he's just doing charity work. (gasps) Oh, my God. What's his name? <laughs> What's his name? I'm going after him. I just could. And I just. I want to comment and be like, as am I, good sir. <laughs> and wink. <laughs> yeah, I just want to be like every woman who's ever slept with you is doing charity yeah. work. I'm sure if the, if you're the kind of person who thinks that way, yeah. you're trash. You're I just can't dick. believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just amazed that there are people who not only think those things, but then say them out loud. Yeah. Gross. You know nothing about me. Yeah. I'm a catch. (laughs) You are a 10. (laughs) What a disgusting human being. I can't stand. Anyway, this is the Witch's Magic Writer and Mystery Podcast. (laughs) We're here with dating advice. I'm Megan. I'm Kara. You shouldn't cut any of that out. (laughs) No, I'm not going to. I don't plan on it at all. We talk about Witch's Magic Murder Mystery and and dating. (laughs) Yeah. And sometimes we complain about men. If you're a man who listens to this podcast, I'm sure that you're not. You This doesn't apply to you. No, because, we love you. Yeah. If you listen to this podcast, you're then cool. you're one of the good ones. Yeah. But I'm just amazed. Wow. Gross. I just, yeah. It's who are these people? Nasty. People. Why are these people? <laughs> anyway. Hey. Hey, guys. <laughs> Listen, I know what story Kara is about to tell us, <laughs> and we need to give about a million trigger warnings. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your children sure. cannot Do not let them listen to this. Listen to this. No. If you are... Some of you probably shouldn't. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to think of. Like, if you have stomach issues, if you cannot handle... I don't want to listen. Story to I have to. <laughs> if, you, if you just... Don't like cannibalism, really. <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna be it's rough. Lauren, Ella, don't go, listen. Go Turn away. it off. Mom, I love you. Go away. I love you, oh, mom. Yeah. Go away. My mom might enjoy this. So. My mom won't. <laughs> My mom is gonna love it. But it's truly, in all seriousness, this is gonna be a rough one. Yeah, it's pretty graphic. Oh, yeah. It's pretty disturbing. I Someone emailed to. us this one. Yep, I'm trying. I'm gonna look up the email. And I was immediately like. <laughs> I'm not doing it, but I knew Kara would. <laughs> she messaged me and she said, Kara, have you seen the email? And so I go and look and I'm like, Megan, do you want me to do it? I wasn't even necessarily saying that you should do it. I was just saying. I, I did it. I said, I wish I could unread the email. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love you, dear listener who emailed us okay. about it. Well, yeah, it's Aaron. Aaron, I love Aaron you. Aaron says, hey, y'all, I'm not usually one to email and link the <laughs> 
Well, hold up. Hey, y'all. I'm not usually one to email in like this, but my ethics textbook, Roll Tide. No, go cats. <laughs> just casually mentioned the craziest case, and I think y'all would be the best to listen to talk about it. I looked and didn't see any, or, well, I didn't look to see in the cases you've already done. Sorry if I missed it. And then goes on to tell us a little bit about it. And then Aaron says... I really hope you all see this and do an episode on it because I'm simply a guest and want other people to share in this crazy case with me. Oh, we're about to share. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're about to share. Mm -hmm. If you're on the Patreon, isn't that where you covered the other cannibalism case about the guy who's like a free man now and he's like a celebrity? Um, I think this is worse than that one. Oh, for sure. A lot of people know that case. It's a pretty famous one. I'd never heard of this one. No, I'm not going to be able to pronounce any of this right. Even though Aaron told us how to pronounce it, I just, you heard me, I just Googled twice how to pronounce it. I still <laughs> don't remember. Armin, my, my, was my, my, we, my, I'm Armin. That sounds great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Armin. Armand. Yeah, Armin. Armin. A-R-M-I-N. Armin. Mm-hmm. I'm, Armin. I'm going with Armin. <clears throat> Hammer. So December 1st, 1961 in Germany, Armin is born. He had two half brothers on his dad's side. And um, his dad peaced out when Armin was young, like real little. And so Armin is being raised by his mom in this huge house. It was said in one article that it had 44 rooms. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I don't. Have we ever discussed houses and how, like, what's that Alan Jackson song, Tiny Houses, oh, Little yeah. Houses? Yeah, love yeah. grows best in uh-huh. little houses. I love little houses. I don't like the houses that are too big. Mm-hmm. I think you should be, I want to, I don't like to be too spread out, is my point. Right. I want to be all on top of each other. I want right. my kids to be super annoyed by me. Right. Oh, my kids are. <laughs> I love my little house right now. Yeah, it's so great. Are, so cute. Okay. Armin. You want to guess what his favorite fairy tale growing up was that he was obsessed with? Hansel and Gretel. Yes. <laughs> I hate that. Yep. I hate that I was right. Yep. Uh-huh. Loved it. Loved it mm. so much. Mm. Like, he became obsessed. And that's, like, kind of where he was like, man, I would love to do that. I would oh, love God. to I would do love that. to cook people. Mm-hmm. Mm. Chase mm. them down and eat them. Eat them right up. So, at 18, Armin joins the military but the military is like dude we have no room for you we you're just not you're just not it for us sorry so armin goes back home and is living with mom he becomes a computer tech and he's just living his life and he is then like a pc repairman and he just was on the web all the time. He, in school, was said to have thought about eating his classmates. Especially if he was, like, attracted to them or, like, felt connected to them. He thought, what if I ate them and then they'd be a part of me? What kind of wires get crossed in your brain for that to become a f- your fetish? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um. So he, he, I can safely say that's a thought I've never had. Yeah. No. Ever. Oh. Oh. No. 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 Thank you. So his mom passes away. She had cancer. She passes away in 1999. Armin is living just what seems to be a normal life his neighbors said that he was just the dude next door like he helped us mow our lawns he helped us with stuff you know around the house he invited us to dinner he was a normal dude that makes it so much worse to me Mm -hmm. see this is why i'm never dating (laughs) yeah ever i hate everything at one point he had a girlfriend oh my god Oh, no. So the girlfriend tells a German TV show that she 
and Armin had a super healthy sex life. They um, were fine. But then one day he's like, listen, I also like men. And she's like, I can't do this. Peace out. Armin gets... Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait for this. Armin, when his mom passes away, like, mom was pretty controlling. And Armin gets a mannequin. And he makes a shrine to mom. And he lays the mannequin in her bed at night. No. Yeah. No. Lay down on the pillow. Oh. Sleep, mom. N- no. This reminds me of Psycho, right? Yeah. Yeah. The mom's like dead in the basement. Just a mannequin in your house. Yeah. Ever. Well, I have, remember the plant butt? Yeah. I have her in my in my shower, actually. But it's not a whole mannequin. Shouldn't have a face. No. <laughs> okay everybody's like plant but what is she talking about listen it's like the lower half of a mannequin yeah of a female mannequin yeah and i put a plant it's a plant stand yeah i mean it's it's cool plant stand it's really cool actually okay anyways so he's like living it up at this point because mom's not there to control what he does and tell him that he's being crazy i'm sure and he starts exploring the internet and he posts on this page called the Cannibal Cafe, and his pay his name is either Frankie or Entrophag- Entrophagus, and he would reach out to gay men that had cannibalistic fetishes. <laughs> How common is this? I, clearly common enough for people to. Be on this page. There's a page. Mm-hmm. And, a, and a genre. Yeah. He went so far as reaching out to these men and setting up play dates. They would meet up in hotels and role play, but none of them would ever let him take it far enough to actually eat each other. Like beef stew eat each other not <laughs> i hate you right now i hate you so much right now. <laughs> so you know how it's real important to me to not kink shame yeah <laughs> i've changed my stance on that listen he kink shamed he turned a guy down because the guy wanted to be beaten to death and he said no that's weird <laughs> yeah i don't want to do that it's like I, want, I have my standards. I want to love you. I want to love you to death and keep you in my freezer in pizza boxes. Oh, God, I hate this story so much. <laughs> okay, it's March 6, 2001. Cater 99 is chatting it up. Cater? Cater. C-A- oh, no. C A T O R. Cater 99. Oh, okay, not like cater, like cater food. No. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't make, even think of that. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get through this story without making a wild amount of Guys, inappropriate we're really jokes. Sorry, but this is the only way we can stay sane. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so Cater's like, "Hey, Armin, um, Vegas, uh, whatever his name was, what was his name? I don't know, Andrew Vegas, Frankie, okay. whatever, Frankie. Um, I'm real interested, but I." have some things that I need you to do if you want to follow through with this. I want my penis bitten off and I want to be murdered. I mean, I knew that was coming. I'd read that in the email and I still wasn't ready. Uh, This person's name, I completely forgot to look. Is Burn, maybe? Burn? Brand is? B-E-R-N-D. And he was like, listen, I am ready to die like i want you to eat me alive like it and then alive well like eat my penis and then eat yeah like eat my body until i am no longer alive yeah and then eat me afterwards like this is my wishes this is my will and testament why uh-huh. do we find out why oh so is March he six is he like terminally ill okay um, there's a transcript of an online chat between the two. Are you ready? No. <laughs> no, Kara. So the victim says hello. 
And Armin says, hi, Gator. What do you profess- What do you do professionally that you're up so late at night? And he says, I can't sleep well anymore because of our meeting. And he says, that sensible reason. Yesterday, I was incredibly tired. It was a stressful day. And the victim says, I'm in telecommunications. Oh, that sounds interesting. And then uh, Cater, the victim, in response to yesterday, I was incredibly tired, blah, blah, blah. He says, I believe you. He says, I'm looking forward to our meeting. It will definitely be really cool. He says, I want it to be. I hope it'll really be, or I hope it'll be really cool. Are you setting an alarm clock? Oh, my God. It's only a few days until March 9th. Still, I would have rather met you yesterday and felt your teeth. Oh, my God. That's the victim. No. no. One can't have everything. There's still some time before you really feel my teeth. I hardly know what to expect. Have you slaughtered a man before? Unfortunately, only in my dreams, but in my thoughts, I do every night. So I'm the first. You have eaten human flesh before, haven't you? No, you don't exactly find it in the supermarket, unfortunately. Well, how do you know if it'll taste good to you or the blood won't make you sick? I'm readying myself with my dreams. Once I was so excited, I grabbed a needle and drew my own blood so I could drink it. And your blood, it tastes good to you? It, it was quite tasty. Once I was drilling some holes and the drill slipped right into my hand, that was a real treat. Blood is the juice of life. It contains everything a person needs for nutrition. Dude, your blood was already in your body giving you the nutrition that you needed. No need to re-drink it. I don't. I don't even think that's accurate. And then, actually, I'm no, pretty I'm, sure he's wrong. Yeah. And, and uh-huh. mm-hmm. no, all that's wrong. I don't, I don't think you that's think it's true? You think you Mm-mm. didn't Google that? I'm no. I'm no dietitian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm like having to like disassociate. <laughs> I can't. I don't. Mm-mm. Okay, so then the victim says, "Then I hope you won't wilt. That you can really see it through without a problem. To bite into your penis will certainly not be easy. Jesus Christ. Look. I don't understand. <laughs> like this is a real thing. This is a real conversation. I can't." He says, Stand it. living flesh is somewhat more resistant than fried. But one thing is certain, our dream will be fulfilled. But there's not so much in it as there is in muscle. Yeah, but the penis is principally a spongy material filled with blood. <laughs> so the victim says, for both the fact, the fact that I was talking about Haiti Ben... <laughs> You're At the now. beginning of this episode, no, I just, I kind of feel bad. I'm leaving it. <laughs> yeah, leave it. But I'm just like, oh man. And now we're talking about like eating feeling like so, this. Is so bad. <sighs> mm. Mm. He says, for both our sakes, I hope that's true. I hope you have also already thought about what's to be done with the rest. Fulfilling the dream shouldn't become a nightmare for you. No one will know where I've disappeared to. And then he says, after you're dead, I'll take you out and expertly carve you up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Except for a pair of knees and some fleshy trash, skin, cartilage, and tendons, there won't be much of you left. There will be a good bit like the knees. I hope you have a good hiding place for them. I'll dry out the knees and grind them up soon after. Okay. They're good fertilizer. I've heard that once. I see you've thought about it. Good. Sounds like I'm the first. (laughs) And you won't be the last, hopefully. I've already considered catching a young person from the street, but I would rather kill only those who want to be killed. That also doesn't sound bad. But yeah, seeing as it's not so totally legal, this is, in my eyes, better than yanking somebody directly off the street. Exactly. I'd do it if it were legal. Oh, my God. He would yank somebody off the street if this were legal. Uh-huh. Like, I can't. I just need. Let's take a pause. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> take a moment. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Just feeling. The- I need to wrap my head around, number one, uh-huh. this man who is so excited to be eaten. Uh-huh. And like, 
is he he's sexually aroused by the he's idea of it, beating? Yeah. Yeah. That's his. Yeah, they were into it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And he's excited to die. Yeah. But like. To die for this man. Right. And like, not necessarily in a depressed, suicidal way. He's sexually aroused. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. And then the other guy, like the whole thing of, um, you've kind of heard of this whole like being sexual. There's a lot of, uh, I don't know if it's sexual sadism. I don't really know. Right. But, you know, like yeah. the whole, the tie between serial killers and sex that's not new. Right. Right. Yeah. So yeah, murder yeah. and sex, that's the, we've heard of that before. Yeah. But this, uh-huh. the other side of it, where there's something, you're being turned on by the idea yeah. of dying. Like, yeah. what? Yeah. I don't, and, and then you're going to die a horror, horrible, horrible death. Painful death. Yeah, exactly. Like, you're sitting here talking it out. Like, what are you going to do with my bones? What are you going to do with this? Oh, great. I'll make a great fertilizer. Huh? It is it's it's super submissive, right? Oh, yeah. Like they are, whoever this is, is so excited about mm-hmm. being useful. For this person. And they're just like, in every way. I'm gone, so it doesn't matter. I'm here for you. And they want to hear yeah, exactly oh. how useful. Yeah. And that seems, uh-huh. I am so, <laughs> I can't. Dude. What's uh, that mean? Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. So, of course, they continue to chit-chat online. And March 9th, Bernd takes the day off work. Uh, he had already sold his stuff. How old is he? Do we know? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember seeing that. I'll have to look it up. Okay. Well, I just want... We might get to it later. I'm just yeah. trying to figure out, like, is he a teenager? Right. Is he, like... Right. Yeah. You know, middle-aged? Yeah. I just wonder about yeah. his parents. <laughs> well, he owned a sports car and he raced his hard drive when he was working. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so he erases his hard drive, sells all his his vehicle, his clothes, everything, his furniture, all that stuff. And then he buys a one-way ticket to where Armin is. And Armin picks him up and drives him to his house. So they stop before getting to the house to get some painkillers and they go and they have sex and um the victim takes 20 sleeping pills cough syrup and a bottle of schnapps that's a crazy concoction they decide they're going to videotape it because armin Wants to prove that he has his consent to do this. Okay. (laughs) So on the tape, he says, now do it. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They haven't released these tapes, and I don't need them to. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. If they were on the Internet. Um, Oh. Everyone in court has seen them. Oh, those poor people. Yep. And... Of course, the state officials and whatnot, and his attorneys, which oh, I'm those sure they poor people will never sleep again. Yeah, I mean, so, I'm sorry to <laughs> to all of you for having right, exactly, this. exactly. So, Armin attempts to bite his penis off, but he can't. So then, he cuts it off with a kitchen knife, and the victim wants to eat it as well. So he tries to take a bite, but he's too weak at this point to be able to. So then Armin decides <laughs> that it's too tough to chew. He wanted um, to eat his own penis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is happening with this man? Yeah. Yeah. So, well, yeah. So Armin blanches it and then seasons it with salt and pepper and garlic oh, powder and then fries it. And the, this is horrible. It shrivels up to almost nothing. So he decides to grind it up and give it to his dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
He, it says in the article in quotes, he tried to eat it. He was disappointed that he couldn't. It wasn't edible. You could have just thrown it away. And then he says, today I know that I, that what I did was wrong. He told the film crew, the wishes, the fantasies you have, that these could have never been fulfilled, that these things you dream about can only be a dream. He wanted to eat a penis and he couldn't. Yeah. Oh, God. You didn't have to give it to your dog. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Also, right. You don't have to live out every single fantasy you have. Yeah. Oh, my God. So Armin decides, you know what? I'm going to draw my lover a bath. I'm going to make him comfy. Did so he say he, lover or did you say lover? I said lover. Okay, thank God. I mean, I had sex. <laughs> I know, but, but I was just like, is this? That's me. That's yeah, me. That's thank me. you. Okay. Um, he makes him a bath and he gets him all comfy and he gives him a um, Star Trek book to read. And he checked on him about every 15 minutes. He was like, he's, he's okay. He's okay in there. No, he's not. Mm -hmm. No, he is not. He was not Megan, okay from the moment you met him. Megan, at this time, cannibalism is not a crime in Germany. What? Mm -hmm. But murder is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Whoa. Uh -huh. What? Yeah. Wait. We're like, we're like in the 2000s. Yeah. Cannibalism is not a crime in Germany. No. <gasps> oh, <my goodness. laughs> oh there is so much i can't take in this story oh my gosh it's nuts how is cannibalism not a crime yeah mm -hmm. yeah he armin said that he prayed that his victim would regain consciousness to who to who armin yeah, armin or the devil who did you pray to yeah. who are you talking to he's oh not, my he's god um, but he, he just wasn't going to make it. So he stabbed him in the throat. And then kind of like your Australian lady hung his body on a meat hook. Um, and then put him on a butcher's block and got some like freezer bags or like meal proportion size bags and... Put Tim in his freezer. He said, I decorated the table with nice candles. I took out my best dinner service and fried a piece of rump steak. A piece from his back. Made what I call princess potatoes and sprouts. After I prepared my meal, I ate it. <laughs> There's cookies on our table. In a freezer bag. In a freezer <laughs> There is. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he, this man, was in <laughs> these. God. And also in pizza boxes in his freezer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He did bury his skull and put other parts of his body all throughout his garden. And over 20 months... Ate his meals with his victim. Of his victim. 20 months. Yeah. Did he not have any family? Well, no. Remember, his dad left him when he was young. Oh, that's right. He had stepbrothers, but they were the dad, so they went with dad. Mom died. Yeah, he had no family. Mm -hmm. So he had that massive house. No, I mean the, the victim. Oh. Like, like nobody no one, to miss him. No one would know he was gone. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Megan. Mm -mm. He ate 44 pounds of human. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that disgusting? Listen, he was caught December 10th, 2002 because he got greedy went online asking for more victims. So an Austrian student was like, hey, police, this is a little scary and a little too much. So they go, they search his home, they find a freezer with a false bottom in it, and there's human in it. He claimed it was wild boar meat, but then they find the video footage. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just can't. Can you imagine finding the video footage? Just nightmare. Like I can't. Like having to watch that. Being the detectives, having to watch that. It would mess you out. I, I don't care who you are. Yeah. I mean, I get that you're a detective and you've seen some horrible things. There is nothing in the world that could prepare you for that. No. Even watching the guy give his consent would ha- just oh, that would mess me horrible. up. Yeah. Hmm. No, thank you. Okay, so uh, of course, psychologists were like, "Oh, hold on a minute. I don't know that he can stand trial." Uh, let's let's do a little digging here. Uh, he was diagnosed with schizoid personality disorder, but he they found him fit to stand trial. December 3rd, 2003, he was convicted of manslaughter. And he was sentenced to eight years and six months in prison. Eight years? Yeah. Manslaughter, not murder, because the guy gave his consent. consent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then... And cannibalism's not illegal. Right. <laughs> Is it illegal now? We should look that I up. I need to look that up. Yeah, I got too lost in the... <laughs> I can't imagine why. 44 pounds of human <laughs> that he ate. Oh. <laughs> so, oh, Megan, guess what? What? The jail people said he was a stand-up citizen and that he was becoming a vegetarian while in jail. <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> so, they... Tried to claim while all of this, while he was in court and stuff, that he just did it for sexual pleasure. It wasn't that he wanted to murder people. It's just he, that was his sexual pleasure. But listen to this. Armin said, with every bite, my memory of him grew stronger. He said that his victim spoke English really well. And he felt that after he ate him... His no. English had improved. Shut up. God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so 2005, April 2005 rolls around. And the prosecutors are like, guys, come on. Like, you all have him for manslaughter. He's got to be in for murder. Like, we need him tried for murder. This is ridiculous. And so May 10th, 2006, he is sentenced to life in prison. But listen, he's a stand-up citizen in jail. They allow him with bodyguards to, in disguise, wander the streets. It's a part of his rehab. (laughs) So they put him in sunglasses and a hat so no one recognizes him. And it says in the article, two officers accompany him. For security, for security reasons, we take him to another federal state. There he is allowed to walk through town. What's his rehab? Just like, can you be around people without eating them? Right. Do you have these tendencies? Do you want to eat that person? What if the cops are like, you think they look tasty? You think they look tasty? You think you want to eat that one? You want to eat me? In 2018... Frankfurt State Court rejected his appeal for permanent release. But listen to this. Recently, like recently now, not recently to this article, his home was destroyed in a fire. And they're not going to rule out arson. I don't know. But they said the house has been empty for years. And the town's mayor said... He hoped its destruction would stop people visiting the site. The ruin must be removed permanently. It must not be a pilgrimage site. So, did you want to on fire? I hope Were you so. All tired of people going there to get trinkets and treasures? Uh, cause yeah, that's where that man died. Yeah. Oh my God! Did you find your answer? Is it still? I couldn't like, tell. Yeah. I, did, I mean, just a quick Google didn't really answer. It just brings up this yeah. story. And so all the answers are kind of old. Yeah. So I'm not entirely sure. Right. So he's in for life, but allowed to wander the streets with bodyguards. If you live in Germany and can tell me that I pronounced every name correctly, (laughs) let us know. (laughs) Yeah. What are y'all doing there? I just. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 
Aaron, I hope I did that justice, but also I regret doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is, you know, the thing that the reason I like true crime yeah. is I'm so fascinated by human behavior. Right, same. And yeah, so come from, from that background. Yeah. standpoint, this is a fascinating case. I just usually don't do the very disturbing ones. But I mean, it really is like, what? What? It, wow. What How? is this? What is happening? How do we get from one point to another? Uh, yeah. I'm mostly fascinated by the guy who wanted to die that way. Mm-hmm. I want to know every single thing about his background. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What led him to that? That website, that yeah. need, that want, that hoof. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mm. that's it for today. I feel like I feel like for my next episode, I'm going to have to find some sort of palate cleanser. Yeah. Some sort of for very sure. silly story for next week. <laughs> Not sure what that's going to be. about wombs and rabbits. And <laughs> going to have to find something silly. It's rain and heels. <laughs> Did you see this thing that someone posted in? The fish. The fish. The fish. fish. <laughs> No, I already told Erin that she is not allowed to say badge fish. You can't start. <laughs> oh, my God. If you're not in the Facebook group. Please uh, join us. It's so much fun. Yeah. Then you, yeah. if you go join it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Yeah. And also, we're sorry. We're really sorry, but we still love you. We love you so much. So much. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>